Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about a powerful principle that can change your life, forcing yourself to take action. We all have dreams, aspirations, and goals. But what separates those who succeed from those who don't is not just vision, but the action they take to make that vision a reality. One, overcome fear and procrastination. Overcoming fear and procrastination is a crucial aspect of personal growth and success. Fear often serves as a powerful barrier that holds many people back from pursuing their goals and aspirations. It can manifest in various forms, including fear of failure, fear of judgment, or even fear of success. These feelings can be debilitating, leading to a cycle of procrastination that stifles creativity, ambition, and productivity. Understanding how to confront and manage these fears is essential for anyone looking to take meaningful action in their lives. At its core, fear is a natural response to perceived threats or challenges. It activates our fight or flight response, which is designed to protect us. However, in the context of pursuing goals, this same response can be counterproductive. For instance, the fear of failing to meet expectations can prevent individuals from even attempting to try. The thought of being judged by others can lead to inaction, as people worry about how they will be perceived if they fall short. This fear creates a mental barrier that often feels insurmountable. Procrastination, on the other hand, is frequently a coping mechanism for fear. When faced with a daunting task, individuals may delay action as a way to avoid the discomfort associated with their fears. They convince themselves that they will work better under pressure or that they will feel more motivated tomorrow. This leads to a dangerous cycle where tasks accumulate, stress levels rise, and the fear of failure becomes more pronounced. The longer one puts off taking action, the more overwhelming the task becomes, further entrenching the cycle of fear and procrastination. To effectively overcome these challenges, it is essential to first acknowledge and confront the fears that hold us back. Awareness is a powerful tool. By recognizing the specific fears that trigger procrastination, individuals can begin to take proactive steps to address them. This might involve journaling about these fears, discussing them with trusted friends or mentors, or even seeking professional guidance. Understanding that fear is a common experience shared by many can also provide comfort and reduce its power over us. Once we identify our fears, the next step is to reframe our mindset about failure. Rather than viewing failure as a negative outcome, it can be beneficial to see it as a learning opportunity. Each failure provides valuable lessons that can inform future efforts. Embracing a growth mindset, which emphasizes the importance of learning and development, can shift the focus from the fear of failure to the excitement of growth. This shift can help alleviate the pressure associated with taking risks, making it easier to take action despite the fear. Additionally, setting realistic and manageable goals can significantly reduce the feeling of being overwhelmed. When faced with a large task, it can be helpful to break it down into smaller, actionable steps. This not only makes the process feel more attainable, but also provides a clear path forward. For example, instead of saying, I need to write a book, a more manageable goal could be, I will write for 30 minutes every day. These small wins can create a sense of accomplishment that builds momentum, making it easier to tackle larger challenges. Another effective strategy for overcoming procrastination is to establish a structured routine. Having a daily schedule can provide a framework that encourages consistent action. Incorporating specific time blocks dedicated to working on tasks can help individuals stay focused and accountable. It can also be helpful to eliminate distractions during these dedicated work periods, creating an environment conducive to productivity. Additionally, creating a supportive environment can significantly impact our ability to take action. Surrounding ourselves with positive influences and individuals who encourage growth can help mitigate fear and procrastination. Whether it's joining a community of like-minded individuals, finding a mentor, or engaging in workshops and seminars, having a support system can provide the encouragement needed to push through fear and take action. It's also important to practice self-compassion during this process. Overcoming fear and procrastination is not always linear, and setbacks may occur. When faced with challenges, it's crucial to treat oneself with kindness rather than harsh criticism. Understanding that everyone struggles with fear and procrastination at some point can foster resilience and determination to keep moving forward. Finally, celebrating progress, no matter how small, is essential in overcoming fear and procrastination. Acknowledging achievements reinforces positive behavior and motivates individuals to continue taking action. Celebrations can be as simple as treating oneself to a favorite activity or sharing successes with friends and family. These moments of recognition create a positive feedback loop that encourages further action. In summary, overcoming fear and procrastination is a multifaceted journey that requires self-awareness, a shift in mindset, and practical strategies for action. By acknowledging fears, reframing failure, setting manageable goals, establishing routines, 
and fostering a supportive environment, individuals can break free from the cycle of inaction. Practicing self-compassion and celebrating progress further enhances this journey, empowering individuals to take the necessary steps toward achieving their goals. Ultimately, the key to success lies in the ability to confront fear head-on and commit to taking action, regardless of the obstacles that may arise. To set small achievable goals. Setting small, achievable goals is a fundamental strategy for effective personal development and productivity. In a world that often emphasizes grand ambitions and lofty dreams, it can be easy to overlook the power of small, manageable steps. However, breaking down larger objectives into smaller goals not only makes them more attainable, but also creates a sense of accomplishment that fuels motivation and encourages continued progress. The process of setting small, achievable goals begins with clarity. Before diving into action, it's essential to define what success looks like for you. This means being specific about your overarching goals. For instance, if your aim is to get fit, rather than simply stating that goal, consider specifying what that entails. Do you want to lose a certain number of pounds, run a specific distance, or improve your strength? By articulating a clear objective, you set the stage for developing smaller, actionable steps that can lead you toward your desired outcome. Once you have a clear vision of your ultimate goal, the next step is to break it down into smaller, bite-sized tasks. This can often involve identifying key milestones that will mark your progress. Using the fitness example, you might set small goals, such as exercising for 20 minutes three times a week, or incorporating more vegetables into your meals. Each of these smaller goals contributes to the larger objective and makes the process feel less overwhelming. By focusing on smaller tasks, you create a roadmap that guides your journey and keeps you on track. One of the primary benefits of setting small, achievable goals is the sense of accomplishment that comes with completing them. Each time you achieve a small goal, you experience a boost in confidence and motivation. This positive reinforcement is crucial for maintaining momentum. For instance, if you successfully complete your exercise routine for the week, you might feel more inclined to continue that behavior in the following week. These small victories accumulate over time and contribute to a greater sense of achievement. Additionally, breaking down goals into smaller components allows for more frequent evaluation and adjustment. As you progress, you may discover that certain approaches work better than others, or that your initial timeline was too ambitious. When you set smaller goals, you can regularly assess your progress and make necessary adjustments without feeling like you are abandoning your overall objective. This flexibility fosters a growth mindset where challenges are viewed as opportunities for learning and improvement rather than as setbacks. It is also important to ensure that the small goals you set are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound commonly referred to as SMART goals. For example, instead of saying, I want to read more books, a SMART goal would be, I will read one book per month for the next six months. This specificity allows you to track your progress and maintain accountability. When your goals are clear and measurable, it becomes easier to celebrate your successes and recognize how far you've come. Another aspect of setting small, achievable goals is the ability to create habits. Habit formation is a gradual process that often requires consistent effort over time. When you focus on small goals, you are more likely to integrate them into your daily routine, gradually building the habits that will support your long-term success. For example, committing to writing for just 10 minutes a day can eventually lead to a consistent writing habit, allowing you to produce a substantial body of work over time. Moreover, setting small goals can also help to mitigate feelings of overwhelm or burnout. When faced with a daunting task, it's common to feel paralyzed by the enormity of what lies ahead. However, by breaking it down into smaller tasks, you reduce the mental burden and create a manageable path forward. This approach encourages a sense of progress, making it easier to tackle larger projects without feeling overwhelmed. To maximize the effectiveness of small, achievable goals, consider incorporating accountability into your process. Share your goals with friends, family, or colleagues who can provide encouragement and support. This external accountability can serve as a powerful motivator, pushing you to follow through on your commitments. Additionally, joining a group or finding a buddy with similar goals can foster a sense of camaraderie, making the journey more enjoyable and less isolating. As you pursue your small goals, remember to celebrate your successes along the way. Acknowledging your progress is essential for maintaining motivation and reinforcing positive behavior. Whether it's treating yourself to a special activity, sharing your achievements with others, or simply taking a moment to reflect on how far you've come, celebrating milestones helps to create a positive feedback loop. This recognition not only boosts your confidence, but also encourages you to continue striving for your larger objectives. In conclusion, setting small, 
Achievable goals is a powerful strategy for personal growth and achievement. By breaking down larger objectives into manageable tasks, you create a clear path towards success while minimizing feelings of overwhelm. The sense of accomplishment that comes with completing these small goals fuels motivation and encourages continued progress. Incorporating flexibility, accountability, and celebration into this process further enhances its effectiveness, making it a sustainable approach to achieving your aspirations. Ultimately, the journey toward your larger goals becomes not only more attainable, but also more rewarding, allowing you to thrive and grow along the way. Three, accountability and support. Accountability and support are two critical components that significantly influence an individual's ability to take action and achieve their goals. In the journey of personal development and goal attainment, having a robust support system can make the difference between success and stagnation. Accountability ensures that individuals remain committed to their objectives, while support provides the encouragement and resources needed to overcome challenges. Together, these elements create a powerful dynamic that fosters growth and progress. At its core, accountability is the concept of taking responsibility for one's actions and commitments. When individuals set goals, it's common for motivation to wane over time, especially when faced with obstacles or distractions. This is where accountability becomes essential. By sharing goals with others or establishing accountability mechanisms, individuals can create a sense of obligation that helps them stay focused and committed. The fear of disappointing someone or failing to meet expectations can serve as a powerful motivator to take action and follow through on commitments. One effective way to establish accountability is to share goals with a friend, family member, or colleague. This external commitment can create a sense of partnership, making the journey toward achieving those goals more enjoyable and less isolating. Regular check-ins with an accountability partner can provide valuable opportunities to discuss progress, celebrate successes, and address challenges. These conversations help individuals reflect on their efforts, identify areas for improvement, and reinforce their dedication to the goals they have set. In addition to personal relationships, accountability can also be fostered through structured programs or groups. Many people find success in joining support groups, workshops, or classes focused on specific goals such as fitness, career development, or personal finance. These environments not only create a sense of community but also establish a framework for accountability. When participants know that others are observing their progress and cheering them on, they are more likely to stay committed to their goals. Support, on the other hand, encompasses the encouragement, resources, and emotional backing individuals receive from their network. This support can come in various forms, including emotional encouragement, practical assistance, and constructive feedback. Emotional support plays a crucial role in maintaining motivation, especially during challenging times. Knowing that someone believes in your abilities can bolster your confidence and help you push through self-doubt. Practical assistance is another vital aspect of support. This might involve providing resources, sharing knowledge, or offering help with tasks that contribute to achieving goals. For instance, if someone is working on a fitness goal, a supportive friend might join them for workouts, share healthy recipes, or provide tips on meal prep. This type of practical support not only makes the journey more manageable, but also fosters a sense of camaraderie and shared purpose. Constructive feedback is also a critical component of support. It allows individuals to gain insights into their performance and identify areas for improvement. Receiving feedback from a trusted source can help individuals refine their strategies, enhance their skills, and avoid pitfalls. It's important, however, to create an environment where feedback is delivered in a supportive and constructive manner, as negative or harsh criticism can be demotivating and counterproductive. The power of accountability and support is further amplified when individuals engage in goal-setting practices together. For example, participating in a goal-setting workshop or retreat can provide individuals with the tools and strategies needed to define their objectives, while also fostering a sense of connection with others pursuing similar aspirations. This shared experience creates a community of accountability where individuals can support one another and hold each other accountable for their commitments. In today's digital age, technology has also transformed the way we seek accountability and support. Numerous apps and online platforms allow individuals to connect with others who share similar goals. These platforms can facilitate virtual accountability groups where members check in on each other's progress, share resources, and provide encouragement. The convenience of digital communication enables individuals to maintain connections and accountability even when geographically separated, further expanding their support networks. It's essential to remember that accountability and support are not one-size-fits-all solutions. Different individuals may respond to different types of accountability and support based on their personalities, preferences, and specific goals. 
Some people thrive in a highly structured environment with formal accountability measures, while others may prefer a more informal approach. The key is to find what works best for you and to seek out individuals or groups that align with your goals and values. Additionally, fostering a culture of accountability and support goes beyond personal relationships. In professional settings, organizations can benefit from promoting a culture of accountability among team members. This involves establishing clear expectations, providing regular feedback, and creating an environment where individuals feel comfortable sharing their goals and challenges. When employees feel supported and held accountable, they are more likely to take initiative, collaborate effectively, and contribute to the overall success of the organization. In summary, accountability and support are fundamental elements that drive individuals toward achieving their goals. By creating a sense of responsibility for one's actions and surrounding oneself with a supportive network, individuals can navigate challenges with greater confidence and resilience. Sharing goals with others, participating in structured programs, and seeking both emotional and practical support can enhance motivation and commitment. Ultimately, the combination of accountability and support empowers individuals to take meaningful action, overcome obstacles, and realize their aspirations. In the journey of personal growth and achievement, these two elements serve as essential pillars, enabling individuals to thrive and reach their fullest potential. 4. Celebrate Progress Celebrating progress is a vital aspect of the journey toward achieving goals, and it plays a crucial role in maintaining motivation, fostering a positive mindset, and reinforcing the behaviors that lead to success. In a society that often focuses on outcomes and end results, it can be easy to overlook the importance of recognizing and appreciating the small victories that occur along the way. However, taking the time to celebrate progress not only enhances our experience of the journey, but also strengthens our resolve to keep moving forward. At the heart of celebrating progress is the recognition that the path to success is often nonlinear and filled with challenges. Every individual encounters obstacles and setbacks on their journey. These moments can be discouraging, leading to frustration and self-doubt. However, by focusing on the progress made rather than the distance still to cover, individuals can cultivate a more resilient mindset. Celebrating even the smallest achievements serves as a reminder of how far one has come, helping to shift the focus away from perceived shortcomings and reinforcing the belief that progress is possible. One effective way to celebrate progress is through the practice of reflection. Taking time to evaluate the steps taken toward a goal allows individuals to appreciate their efforts and identify what has worked well. This reflective practice can take many forms, including journaling, creating visual progress charts, or simply taking a moment to think about the journey. By acknowledging the progress made, individuals can gain clarity on their achievements and reinforce their commitment to their goals. Moreover, celebrating progress fosters a sense of accomplishment. Each small win contributes to the larger objective and reinforces the idea that success is built on a series of incremental steps. For example, if someone is working toward a fitness goal, celebrating milestones such as completing a week of workouts, achieving a personal best in running, or trying a new healthy recipe can instill a sense of pride and motivation. This recognition helps to create a positive feedback loop where the joy of celebration fuels further action. In addition to personal reflection, sharing progress with others can enhance the celebration experience. When individuals share their successes with friends, family, or colleagues, they create an opportunity for communal celebration. This external validation can amplify the sense of achievement and foster a supportive environment. Friends and family can provide encouragement, offer congratulations, and even share in the excitement of the journey. This social aspect of celebration can strengthen relationships and create a network of support that further motivates individuals to continue their efforts. Another powerful method of celebrating progress is to establish reward systems. Creating incentives for reaching specific milestones can add an element of fun to the process. For instance, if someone completes a challenging project at work, they might treat themselves to a special outing or purchase something they have been wanting. These rewards serve as tangible acknowledgments of hard work and dedication, reinforcing positive behaviors and creating a sense of joy associated with the journey. Additionally, rewards can help maintain motivation during periods when progress may seem slow or challenging. In the workplace, celebrating progress can also contribute to a positive organizational culture. When teams take time to acknowledge their achievements, it fosters camaraderie and boosts morale. Regularly recognizing individual and team successes can create an environment where people feel valued and appreciated. This, in turn, encourages ongoing collaboration and innovation, whether it's through team meetings, newsletters, or informal gatherings. Organizations that celebrate progress can cultivate a culture of recognition that enhances overall performance. 
It is important to remember that celebrating progress does not mean ignoring areas for improvement. On the contrary, recognizing achievements should be balanced with a mindset of growth and development. Celebrating progress can coexist with constructive feedback and goal refinement. When individuals celebrate their successes, they can also reflect on the lessons learned from challenges faced along the way. This combination of recognition and growth-oriented thinking can create a powerful framework for continuous improvement. Moreover, cultivating a habit of celebrating progress can lead to long-term benefits for mental and emotional well-being. Engaging in regular celebrations can boost self-esteem and foster a more positive outlook on life. When individuals consistently acknowledge their achievements, they build a sense of self-efficacy and confidence. This enhanced self-belief can be particularly impactful during challenging times, as individuals are reminded of their resilience and ability to overcome obstacles. In summary, celebrating progress is an essential practice that enhances the journey toward achieving goals. By taking the time to reflect on achievements, share successes with others, and establish reward systems, individuals can foster a sense of accomplishment and motivation. This practice not only shifts the focus from outcomes to the process, but also cultivates resilience, strengthens relationships, and contributes to overall well-being. Whether in personal pursuits or professional environments, recognizing and celebrating progress is a powerful strategy that empowers individuals to continue striving for their aspirations while enjoying the journey along the way. Embracing the significance of celebrating progress can ultimately lead to sustained motivation, increased satisfaction, and a greater sense of fulfillment in all aspects of life.